Greetings, normal service resumes. I'm feeling back to one of my other selves today. We're going to do a review, and it isn't good, of this uh, Do Re Midi or Door Midi uh, Midi Merge box. That um, there's a few of these on eBay at the moment, about thirty-five, forty pound. There's no major music retailers that I'm aware of that are selling this, so. Uh, I took a bit of a gamble, but thought, hell, it's the uh, 21st century, surely they can merge some MIDI, uh, some 80s technology. It doesn't turn out to be the case, and we're going to see the results of my experience with this. It's a nice looking box, it's a nice package with a USB cable. So yes, it's USB powered, and I've got it hooked up to the MC909. And look, there's a hanging note. This is a major issue with it. We'll switch that off. Play a few more notes. And you can see some are hanging. There's another hung note. Also, we're going to try this with the pitch bent. It's awful. It, it just won't read the messages properly and we'll detune when it returns to the centre. Now I've got it hooked up now without the uh, merger, this is straight from the keyboard and this is the MIDI messages that we should be getting, the note ons and note offs sequentially there, you can see that I've played them. So we'll test it now with just one MIDI in on with the, using the MIDI merger and you can see there's uh, two notes on further down, there's two notes off sequentially that's not right, and right at the bottom there's two sequential note offs as well. Now here's something I did pick up uh, recently that's been on my watch list. The old Philip Reese merger. I used to have one of these back in the day. And I got it for a bit of a steal really, so uh, let's try this out. So again, this is uh, MIDI out to the 909 with some pitch bend, and even though it's quite a... Uh, large range on the bend there you can see it's quite smooth okay let's have a look inside it looks real i think that's a voltage regulator there's a hex inverter and they're opto isolators and there's the uh, processing unit which uh, i think has got some dodgy firmware installed on it this is why it's not working so uh, potentially it uh, should work, you know, it's got all the right bits in it, and here's their homepage, and they do make other MIDI gear. It seems like a real company, I don't know why they've got guitars there when they specialise in MIDI stuff, but uh, I did contact them uh, with uh, reporting the issues, no response yet. So I think this is quite new on the market, and uh, it's a bit tricky finding reviews or much other info about it. I did come across this one and it pretty much uh, replicates my experience with it. So um, I'd like to think they'd get uh, a firmware update if possible but uh, basically guys I'm saying avoid it and um, you know it makes a nice brick I think you'll agree. Now, I should have stated this earlier, but I have tried this out as a merge uh, utility as well. Um, a MIDI clock in one input and the uh, note input from a keyboard in the other. It did merge them uh, to an output, but um, you've seen the other issues that it has, so it's still not usable. So, thanks for watching, and we'll have some more MIDI stuff coming up soon. And I very much hope to see you there.